Hey guys, and welcome back to Kutan Crafts. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a super simple and super easy crocheted ornament. These ornaments are so simple, they're just four rounds. Uh, it's two round medallions, if you will, that are joined together. They take about 20 minutes for each one of them to make. Again, super simple, super easy. So without further ado, let's get started. So for these ornaments, you're gonna need of course, yarn, because they're crocheted, and you're going to need three colors. These are the three colors that I chose. I will put the brand names and color names and everything down in the description box below. Um, I'm not sponsored. I got these at Michael's. I'm not sponsored by Michael's or this brand of yarn. It's just these are the colors that I liked that they had in stock that were the cheapest, so this is what I went with. You could also do this with non-Christmas colors. Uh, use scraps if you have them. That's perfectly fine. Uh, and I am using a size H, if this will focus in, maybe, maybe not. It is a size H, US size H crochet hook. Uh, I'm not sure what millimeter size this is. I will put that down in the description box below. So let's get started. So I am going to be doing this, starting this with a magic circle. If you guys don't know what a magic circle is, um, I'll show you right now. This is how I prefer to start all of my round crochet patterns, anything that starts with a circle, um, instead of doing a chain and then three more chains and then stitching in the first chain, I just find this easier. It also creates a nice closed in center. Um, but start a magic loop, you're just gonna take your yarn, wrap it around your middle finger twice and set up your yarn however it's comfortable for you to crochet. What you're gonna do is take your hook and you're gonna go underneath these first two wraps like this, yarn over, pull through, so you have a loop like that, and I'm gonna chain two. The reason I'm chaining two is because all of these stitches are half double crochets, American half double crochets. Um, and your starting chain for half double crochets is always two chains. So, got my two chains on there, I'm gonna work all of my stitches, beginning stitches, holding this loop on my finger and working in the round. So first round, you're gonna need 10 half double crochets. These first two chains right here count as your first one. So that's the first one. Second one, if you're not used to half double crochet, you're gonna, I'll back up here, half double crochet, you're just gonna yarn over, put your hook in through the loop, yarn over, pull through, Yarn, or, oh, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a half double crochet, American half double crochet. So there's two stitches. We're gonna do three. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And if any time during this video I'm going too fast for you, feel free to use the pause button to catch up. You've got your 10 stitches on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna close up this loop before I join. So I'm gonna take your end here, pull until you see one loop closing, grab that one before you close it all the way, close the second loop, and then grab your free end here and pull that, and you can see how nice and closed that is. And I'm going to join this at the top of our chain two right here with a slip stitch. Just put your hook in there. Yarn over and pull through, pull through, yarn over. And I'm going to leave a good foot or so of a tail. Snip that off and pull that through because these thread tails are what I'm going to use to stuff this. But you wanna finish off each round as you go. It's just a lot easier that way. Now for the round two, what you wanna do, you don't wanna work in the top loops of your stitches. 
you actually want to work between the stitches. Um, so put your loop in there, or put your hook in there, and you want to leave, again, I don't know, this is eight or nine inches, up to a foot, whatever, of a tail. Pull this through, and then you want to start working. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to put two half double crochets between each stitch of the first round. So again, half double crochet, you're going to start with the chain two. And I'm going to go back into that same spot between those two stitches and do a half double crochet. Yarn over, go between the next two stitches. And put in two half double crochets. And you're going to do this all the way around. And you should have 20 stitches when you are all said and done. Now when you come to the tail of the previous round here, just put it to the back and work on past it. You don't have to crochet over it or anything, it's going to be all encased inside the finished ornament, so you don't have to be real particular about the, the ends here. Alright, so, got 20 stitches there. Now you're going to join again with a slip stitch at the top of the chain two that you started with. So put your hook in there, yarn over and pull through both hooks. Yarn over, again leave a nice long tail, Just snip that off, pull that through, and that's what it will look like. Now for your third color, to start this, what you want to do is go between, if you look at your previous round here, you'll see you have two stitches in this space and you have two stitches in that space. You want to go right between those two V stitches, if you will. Put your hook in there. Again, we're working between the stitches, not on top of the stitches. Bring your yarn through. Do a chain two because again, it's half double crochet and that counts as your first half double crochet. Now in this V stitch of the previous round, where you have two half double crochets in the space, you want to put two half double crochets between those stitches. So go in between those stitches and put in a half double crochet and a second half double crochet. Between the V stitches, you just want to put one half double crochet and in the V stitch, put two. So you're going to go two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. Here you're between the V stitches again. So you just put in one, in the V-stitch, put in two. And you just want to keep doing this all the way around. And you should finish with two half double crochets in the V-stitch. And then again, join at the top of the chain two where you started. with a slip stitch. Just like that. Yarn over, pull through, leave a nice long tail, and pull that all the way through. Sorry if this is a little dark here, it's my son's going away on me. But there you go, that's the third round. All right, so we've got our three rounds here. Now it's time to do the fourth round. And what you wanna do, I'm again using the same color that I used for the center here. Uh, you don't have to use this same color, it's just that's how it works out when I did it. Um, but this round you're actually going to be working in the loops on the top of the stitches like you normally do in crochet. Uh, you want to look at your stitches here and see where the V-stitch is. And that first stitch of the V-stitch, you'll see here's the single half double crochet, here's the V-stitch inside that V-stitch. There are two stitches, there's the other single, there's two more. You want to go into the top loops of the first half double crochet of that V stitch. And that is where you want to pull through your yarn. You want to do a chain one because these are going to be single crochets. 
And I'm just going to make a single crochet in that first stitch uh, just to kind of help anchor that a little bit. I don't like a chain one as a beginning stitch with single crochet. Anyway, just start it like you would normally do it. Single crochet in that first one. In the top of the next stitch, do a single crochet. Now this single half double crochet of the previous round, we're going to actually insert our hook down here where that stitch was stitched. Uh, this is going to be a half double crochet, and I don't know if this is a long half double crochet or what the technical term is for it. This is just what I, what I am calling it. So you want to yarn over, put your hook in where that stitch was stitched, yarn over and pull your yarn through. So you have a nice loop like that, and you want to pull this up so this is level with these stitches. You don't want this stitch to be tight. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. And because we stitched over this stitch, we're going to skip it, and we're going to do a single crochet in the top of the next two stitches. Just like that. Again, this is the single half double crochet of the previous round, so you're going to do a long half double crochet, yarn over, put your hook through where that stitch was stitched, pull up a loop nice and loose, and this takes some practice as to how loose this loop needs to be for it to look good. Um, just practice. That's all I can say. Eventually in time you'll get the feel of it. Again, a single crochet in the next two stitches, and then a long half double crochet over the next one. And we're coming back around to the start here. And if everything went as planned, you should be left with one stitch there, which is a long half double crochet. And then what you want to do is join in the top of the first single crochet there, just with a slip stitch. Again, cut this off long, pull this through, and that is your completed medallion. Now what you want to do is go through and make another one exactly like this, because our finished ornaments are the same on both the front and the back. So I'm going to go ahead and get another one of these ready, and I will be back. All right, so I've got the second uh, piece of our ornament done, and you can see we've got the little jellyfish tentacles on the back of it. I did not finish this one off. You don't have to finish the second one off, because we're just going to join it to the first one that we did, again, with its little jellyfish tentacles. Anyway, you're going to put these wrong sides together. You want the right sides out facing you. Um, went ahead and finished this off with a slip stitch, if you will. Um, and actually, before I forget about it, I'm going to do a chain one. And in that same stitch right there, I'm just going to put my hook in, just like that. And I'm going to take my second one and just pick a stitch and put your hook in there. And again, we're going to join these in the top stitches of these rows. And all you're going to do is single crochet these together. So do a single crochet like I just did. Put your hook into the next one in the top of those stitches to the one behind in the top of those stitches and do a single crochet. And that's all I'm going to do all the way around to join these. I'm just going to work around here. And if you wanted to sew these together, by all means, go ahead and sew them together. I just think it's easier, well, it's easier for me and quicker for me to crochet them together. So that is what I'm opting to do. Now, once you get most of the way around, you will have all your thread ends sticking out and just a little opening here. Basically what you want to do is just stuff all these opening or stuff all these 
loose ends inside of your ornament. And this is why we left them long. So this would be our stuffing. If you don't want to waste yarn like this and you know you want to finish off your ends and make the inside look pretty and use fiber fill, by all means go ahead and do that. Um, for me, this is just the easiest way to do this for me. So, got all your loose ends in. Make sure that you don't get your loop or anything like that in there. Now for the hanger, we're gonna actually crochet the hanger on while we got this together. Uh, just put your hook in those stitches just like you were joining it. Uh, and what you wanna do is pull your yarn out however long you want your hanger. Take your hook, wrap it behind this thread here and grab both of these threads, both of these pieces of yarn. Do that again so you can see that. You got it set up like this. Take your hook, wrap it behind that, grab this one, and as you pull through, grab this one as well. So you've got both ends of this loop. This is what's going to be your hanger right here. So you've got both ends of, or both pieces of that. Pull that through. And now's the time to adjust this hanger. You can make it, you can pull this and tighten it and make it as long or as short as you want. Um, two to three inches is plenty for what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to measure this with the one I have done. So these are all about equal, which that one is. Okay, grab your working yarn. Here's your loop in back. Just yarn over and pull through all three of those loops on your hook. Go on to the next stitches, just like you were joining this before. Single crochet around, and you can see there the hanger is secure. It's not going anywhere. And continue joining till you get to the beginning again, like that. And now what I'm going to do is join this so it doesn't look like it's joined. Uh, if you take this one right here that I did, you will see there is no join all the way around. It just looks like it's crocheted all the way around. Right there is where the loop is. So, to make it look like that, it's called the invisible join. You want to leave yourself, I don't know, a nice long tail there. Um, instead of joining this like you normally would with a slip stitch, I'm just going to take this and pull my yarn through. Then I'm going to take a tapestry needle, and if all goes well, this will thread easily. Maybe, maybe not. All right, so I got my needle threaded here, and to do this invisible join, all you're going to do is take your needle here and go in through underneath the bottom loops of that first single crochet that you did in the join. Pull it through. And it doesn't matter if you work back to front or front to back. Pull this tight. And then you want to go back in through the top of the stitch right there that your yarn came out of. Just like that. And you can see you now have an invisible join. And then what you want to do is join or fasten off this working end here, and I'm just going to weave this in, put it between the yarns here, just to kind of secure it. Now don't pull this too tight because then you'll close up this thing here and then it won't look like an invisible join. So just do like you normally do, however you fasten off or weave in Fasten off or weave in your ends. I just go around the yarn like that. Stick my hook in to wherever this may 
come out and grab your yarn a few times. Pull all this inside. This will just add to the stuffing on the inside there. Work this stuff down, make it look nice and pretty and invisible, and kind of zhuzh up the, the threads inside there, make it look nice and even. Uh, you can play around with these long stitches and make them look pretty if you know, get them looking nice. Just kind of play around with it. And... But there you are. There is your finished ornament with a hanger attached. Nice and visible join there. You know, not my best work, but you get the idea. And that's your finished ornament. Go ahead and make up a few of these. I've got a few, as you can see. Just four, but there you go. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. I will put the full pattern down below in the description box, as well as the yarns and the colors that I use, the crochet hook size. Um, all that important information will be down in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more crafting videos. Hope you guys have a great Merry Christmas, and I will see you next time.